Hello everybody, welcome to La Cucina, I'm your host Pasquale. We started the video before the new year, we're gonna end it with the new year. Happy new year to everybody, buon anno a tutti quanti in America, in Italia, in Australia, in Belgio, tutti gli amici, la famiglia, e facciamo una cosa buona oggi. Facciamo the end of the year scungilli with fettuccine. Mamma mia, in America they call it conch. But I'm going to take you to my kitchen and I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Come on in. Okay. So, what do we got here? We got chopped one onion, chopped up. We have parsley, we have fresh oregano, and we have garlic. So now what I'm going to do is put some fresh olive oil, beautiful olive oil, in my pot. We're going to make scungili marinara sauce, Pasquale style. Okay, so let's get the oil hot. Don't forget. I got garlic, parsley, oregano, and onions. And they're going all in. You hear that, right? Oh, baby. You can hear that. It's a beautiful, beautiful sound. It's singing to me, my darling. Oh, baby. A little bit of salt. And the song goes, Pasqualin, Pasqualin, piangeva. Non voleva andare a scuola e la mamma lo batteva. Pasqualin, Pasqualin piangeva. That's a song that my mom used to sing to me when I was a little boy. It means Pasqualino didn't want to go to school. So the mom used to hit him in the butt and Pasqualino used to cry. We're going to put nice tomato sauce, taste. Beautiful. And we're gonna add our scongili that I cooked yesterday because I bought it fresh. I couldn't find anything in the can. Usually the canned ones are like a little more soft, so it is okay. But unfortunately I couldn't find it because everybody bought it. Lower the flame. We're going to put in our pastene crushed tomato oh yeah and then what we do is like my grandmother used to do you put a quarter of water in here rinse it up put it back in there see it nice and clean beautiful hello hey this is the way uh, this is marinara sauce pasquale style and Pasquale Caputo is vino. Ooh, our beautiful marinade needs the wine. And why we leave it uncovered? Why? Because we want the alcohol to evaporate. Oh, so guys, in the meantime, now we want to wait for this to come to a boil. When it comes, starts to bubbling up a little. I'm gonna throw the scongili in here and let it cook for about 45 minutes. Look how beautiful. We need this to be cooked for a good 45 minutes. Why? Because we have fresh, fresh scongili. We don't have, you know, the scongili in the can. We have the scongili, the Pasquale Caputo, already cooked yesterday, and now we're mixing it all up. And I need them to cook really to perfection because if they're too hard, my wife is not going to eat it. So, but look at this. Ooh, mamma mia. Marinara sauce with scungili. This clam's been in the salt water for the last six hours. So, every two hours, you change the water, you put some salt in it, and it's amazing. It's very good. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate. The little clams that I'm going to eat raw, because that's what I like. There we go. 
keep them in the salt water for six hours so the sand comes out and I'm putting it in the pot it's only my wife and I so I didn't buy too many and the first thing I do is a little bit of olive oil right then we do a cup of water half a cup of water why you want to steam this and I'll put in a little bit of glass a little white wine right not too much just like half a glass And that's all. A little salt, very little. You want to have a little taste. That's it. So now what I do, I'm putting it on the stove, I want to make sure that the clams steam up and open up for me. Come on, we're going to close it. That's it. We'll chop them up. Because why? We're going to fill up the clams. A little salt. And a little pepper. together like this like like almost like a, a little little knot then mix it up with the onions bit of breadcrumbs not too much and we get some pecorino romano and I'm doing it in Italian way with the hands look at that oh mamma mia no more vino gotta have a little vino oh listen buon anno happy new year everybody Let's see oh look at nice Open up, open up, open up. Wow, they all open. So, what's going to happen now, right? Let's see the other one. Oh, this one is not opening. So, guys, it looks like this one, I don't think it's going to be good. So, remember one thing. When you make clams, if the clams, when you steam them, some of them don't open, don't try to open it. Chuck them. Because you know what? It means they're bad. So what I'm going to do is now, you have to let it cool off. Why we're going to let it cool off? Because they're very hot to manipulate, guys. You don't want to touch them now because they're too hot. So I'll get rid of this. Okay. So these, they are cool off. So we break the back, right? Break the back. And then we separate the bottom of it. So it's loose. Put it here. Break the back. Separate the bottom of it. Still hot, but not hot enough that it burn me. See this? Break an egg, buddy. Also, a little lemon goes a long way. With this mixed. This is just parsley, breadcrumbs, onions. It's, that's all it is. So let's put it just a little bit more breadcrumbs. Very little. You see that? That's all I did. 
vicino mare faci m'amore ancora ancora non si sfasa o maranara e pinu here to everybody let's work with this clams or reganata i'm gonna clean my hands let's see you guys are looking at it okay so let's do this see the clams here we're gonna put this right on top yummy yummy my tummy look at this Que bello. A little more right here. I spit. Okay. Follow my instruction. I'm not even gonna put the instruction on the video because you know no need to. Just watch my video and you see. Hey, look at that. How beautiful they look. On 355. Just a little. Right? And then a pinch, just a pinch of Parmigiano. Actually, this is Pecorino Romano cheese, I'm sorry. On top of the breadcrumbs, oreganata. Okay, we put in the pasta, fettuccini today. Di Cecco, that's my wife's favorite. My wife loves Di Cecco, so that's what we're gonna do. Whatever she wants, I'll do. That's what happened, you know, when you love your wife, you do things for her all the time. So we're gonna wait. The fettuccine is gonna go down nice and slow. Ooh, baby. I think it's like seven o'clock, so it's about 2 p.m., 1 p.m. in Italy. So they already celebrated the new year. Happy New Year, Italia. Happy New Year, Australia. I think they celebrated like when it was 12 o'clock here today. Belgio, Happy New Year. I didn't get to speak to my brother and my sister today. Look at this. I want to try a little piece of... Because you know what? You have to try a little bit of scongili before you finish it because to see if they're really soft and good. Cooked this one hour yesterday. It's a good 45 minutes now, maybe more. I'm gonna try. Should I try? Should I try? Let's try. Mamma mia, buon anno. If I burn my lips, woo, it's not gonna be that good. Oh. Very good. I did a good job. And I just might Oh my beautiful. Come on here, baby. Oh, look at that. Oh, nice bread. Oh meat. No, it's not all meat. Sorry, guys. I bought it from the bakery. But it's delicious. I just put it in the oven. Mamma mia, look at this. Vino tradizionale molfetese? No. Vino di Pasquale. Quest'anno. I made this. It's amazing. You want to say Happy New Year to everybody? Say Happy New Year to everybody, baby. Say Happy New Year, everybody. Yes. Good boy. I love this puppy. Okay. I just drained the pasta. Now the only thing we're going to do is Put some beautiful scongili sauce on it. Mamma mia. You wanna see? Yeah, buddy. Okay, guys. This is a beauty. Scongili sauce. Oh my God. Look at that. Oh. Delicioso. So you do this, why? Because you don't want the pasta to stick together. Right? A little more sauce. And then we're gonna put it in the dish. And we'll see what happened. Okay, I'll show you. 
Okay guys, this is the presentation. We got our scongili sauce with fettuccine and our beautiful oreganata clams that we cooked and it's amazing. Look at the bread, yummy. We have a feast tonight. Happy New Year everybody and um, I love you guys. I'm not gonna show you how I eat them because I'm gonna sit down with my wife and have a beautiful, beautiful meal. Have a happy new year, healthy and safe. Stay safe from this, this Graziata virus. And look at the little thing that we got from Cecilia, Pasquale and Linda, look how beautiful. Oh, and then we got the Montefioreali wine that we're gonna drink right now. So guys, enjoy and Love you guys. Thank you very much for following me and watching my video. I appreciate it. Appreciate all the support and God bless. See you next year. Ciao.